Welcome to Eukanic. On this video, we're gonna go over the steps on how to remove the steering column on a Mercedes. Here we have a W204C class, but uh, the procedure is very similar on other models as well. So what you will need is first you will need to disconnect the battery so that uh, there's no issues with the airbag or your airbag light coming on or uh, staying on after you reinstall everything. But uh, once you uh, disconnect the battery you'll come here and remove the airbag in this case we have two bolts one here you can see one there and one there these are t25 bolts you access them from the back here and here but on some newer models you don't have bolts anymore and you don't have holes but if you look really carefully on the back of the steering wheel uh, you will notice little indents right there and there and you'll make holes right where those indents are and uh, and then you'll be able to push on a spring with a uh, screwdriver or similar object push on the springs on each side to be able to release the airbag and once you release the airbag two connectors there and there you have to press on the connectors I have little tabs here or on this side right here you have to have a locking tab you press on that and then pull them and then keep your body um, as far as you can from the airbag while you remove it because there is a still a small chance of airbag deploying while you're removing it and that can cause injuries. So uh, once the airbag is removed then you would come and you would uh, want to remove this bolt right here. This is a 10 millimeter hex bolt uh, but make sure you'll need a breaker bar for this but make sure to um, counter hold the steering wheel while you break loose this bolt. You don't want to put all that pressure on the steering column. Uh, so once you remove that mark the steering column on the steering wheel so you put the steering wheel in the exact same position and remove the steering wheel it's pretty simple and straightforward here we have the clock spring uh, you remove this on the back and you simply just pull this out and you want to make sure that you're not going to spin this around this is very important because otherwise your clock spring is going to get damaged uh, when you reinstall it it could not necessarily but um, if it's turned and then your wheels are, are um, pointing straight there is a chance that it could get damaged so be careful with that uh, here we have the steering column and the steering column has four bolts it's got two bolts one here one here and you can see the bolts here uh, these are E10 or E8 um, and these bolts uh, keep in mind the lower ones are longer and the front ones are um, shorter so you want to install the correct ones but you have one here and one here and then all the way to the bottom there you have this bolt and this um, and this is a T40 so you remove this bolt let me show you where this is and once you remove that you will disconnect the wires from the steering wheel locking mechanism and um, and the, also the adjusting rod right there that uh, adjusts the steering wheel up and down and in and out uh, you disconnect those two wires and you, you'll have to push this down towards the brake pedal to remove it so let, let me show you the bolts so you can see it right there is where we remove that bolt right here and then you, the steering column just um, comes right out and once you do that you remove this down okay so here we're removing the steering column from the vehicle and this is a little bit tricky because you don't have a lot of space so we moving this a lot around we had to turn it at an angle like this this uh, part goes flat to the top here but we have to turn it at an angle and then slide it out in order to remove it otherwise it's just uh, almost impossible to get this out um, so you'll be trying this a bit to get it out but you eventually will and the way that it comes out is basically from, un from under the dashboard Right here we have the steering column lock and let's take a look at this how it works and we're going to go over the emulator so right here we have the steering column and the steering wheel lock so this part is the what fails a lot and then when it fails 
um, you you know you'll put the key in the ignition and then the the key will turn but then it'll say please take your key out and the vehicle won't start now this fails internally as a circuit board now on most cars this is just a safety feature so it locks your steering wheel so when you remove the key your steering wheel doesn't turn left and right anymore but on the Mercedes it's also in addition to safety feature it's also it's also a security feature so what that means is that the key communicates with this and this module right here has the VIN number written in it so if the vehicle gets stolen or anything like that then the it won't be able to um, the next person won't be able to start it well um, now nowadays there's actually workarounds so it's a, it's a little bit pointless for the security part of it because nowadays there's these things called emulators now this emulator what it does it bypasses both the security and safety so if you install one of these your steering wheel when you remove the key it's not going to lock anymore so that's a little bit uh, something that you need to take into consideration because um, if you park the car downhill or anything like that or if you tow the car and you need to lock the steering wheel well you won't be anymore um, you won't be able to anymore because uh, you have this in place and it's not locking uh, also on the security aspect of it this piece gets programmed to match the ignition and um, also you know the win up the VIN number gets written on this module with a computer and so that the car can start so anyway a lot of people are installing these because this is expensive to replace um, it depends how it fails if the gear and the little motor that has inside fail those are easy to uh, repair but if the module uh, part of it fails then it gets a little bit more difficult the emulator bypasses all both security and safety features so your steering wheel no longer will lock but also it's not going to fail again because this module failed because the emulator just makes the car think that this module is there and it's working properly so it's not we're not going to recommend one or the other preferred solution is to install the correct part so that you have a steering wheel that still locks um, but uh, we just want to go over and explain what each solution uh, means now because this failed in a lock position uh, we have removed the 13 millimeter nut here but now you can't push this in because it failed in the lock position so we'll have to cut this bolt and then we'll just pry this out um, and that's how uh, what you'll need to do to get this off now if you have a module that sometimes works sometimes you're able to turn on the ignition sometimes you can't what we recommend is turn on the ignition make sure the steering wheel is unlocked so you know it's one of the times that it does work and then go ahead and disconnect the car battery and what that will do is we'll leave this right here unlocked and then you can go ahead and um, remove airbag and everything else you know the car will be powered down and then when you come to this part you won't have to cut this here because this will get you'll be able to push this in just like you can here so keep that in mind um, if you do have a unit that just sometimes works and sometimes doesn't um, just do that just um, basically disconnect the battery while one of the times that it's working basically find a, a moment or a one time turn the key a few times until it works once and then that one time that it works leave the key steering wheel unlocked and go disconnect the battery and then remove everything so we're gonna remove this here
and you will need to install the bolt here and then you reinstall this in reverse order and connect the wire harness there. Thanks for watching.